Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a tree. I'd had a request for an easier tree. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 12.5 cm wide by 13 cm or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 5 inches. The medium tree crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 mm hook is 9 cm wide by 9.5 cm or 3.5 inches wide by 3 and 3 quarter inches. The small trees crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook are 6.5 cm wide by 7.5 cm or 2.5 inches wide by 3 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton. So the size will be a bit smaller than this large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be making a red tree and there are two reds that are very close in colour. If I was making a green tree I'd just use one green because I don't have two close together. I'm using Katona cotton. I've got 162 black coffee 390 poppy rose and 115 hot red. I'll be using a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now we're starting on the trunk. I've got my 162, the black coffee and we start with 5 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the four remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put our hook into the chain, bring up a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. So one single crochet in each of the last chain as well. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet in each of the last two stitches as well. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. Now the next 12 rows will work the same as row 3. We start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. So I'll work the next 12 rows off camera. There's the trunk done. Now we'll work the neatening row and the branches. We start with 10 chain for the first branch. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. And then just slip stitch in the side there, just near the bottom of the start of the branch. So just in there. 
and then slip stitch in each of the next three stitches down the side. For a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So the next three stitches down the side of the trunk we work one slip stitch. Now for this next branch we start with eight chain We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. And then we work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each chain down to the trunk. and then slip stitch in the same stitch as we worked the 8 chain. So just in there and then work one slip stitch in each of the next three stitches down the trunk and then work 6 chain. That's for this small branch. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. And then slip stitch in the same stitch as our chain and then work one slip stitch in each stitch down the rest of the trunk. Slip stitch in the first stitch along the bottom and then I like to work one chain quite tightly and then slip stitch in the rest of the stitches along the bottom. Then work one chain quite tightly and slip stitch into the last stitch again and then work one slip stitch into each of the first nine stitches up the side. Now we should be between the two branches from the other side and then we work nine chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three chain. Then work four chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each stitch down to the trunk.
and then slip stitch in the same stitch as the chain and then work one slip stitch into each stitch until the corner there. Work 10 chain We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain and then slip stitch in the same place as our chain and then slip stitch in the middle stitch along the top of the trunk and work 8 chain we miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch in each remaining chain Slip stitch in the same place as our chain and fasten off. And that's the trunk and the branches done. Now for these large leaves I've got my 390 the poppy rose and we start with 10 chain for row 1 we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook then we work one half double crochet in each of the next two chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. We need one half double crochet in the next stitch as well. Then we work one double crochet in each of the following three chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. So one double crochet in each of the next two chain as well. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain. And one single crochet into the last chain. The different stitches just gives it a curved edge. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. 
one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with two chain and turn. We'll work one half double crochet and two single crochet into the first stitch. So one half double crochet and two single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we'll work two single crochet and one half double crochet and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the three stitches worked in the first work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row four we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 16 stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 16 stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work 
one single crochet in each of the first 14 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We'll work a joined single crochet row for the first 3 stitches. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the third stitch and bring up a loop. There's 4 loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch until we've got two left. And we work a joined single crochet row for the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One double crochet into the following stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One double crochet, which is a treble, into the following stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. Then a single crochet into the following stitch. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the large leaves done, except for the neatening row. We're not going to turn. We, for our neatening row, we start with three chain, and then we work one double crochet in the same place as our chain, and then miss the next stitch around and slip stitch into the following stitch. And we're going to repeat that. 3 chain, work a double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then slip stitch 2 stitches on. So 3 chain, a double crochet in the same place as the chain and then miss 1 stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch. And then 3 chain, a double crochet in the same place, miss a chain and work 1 slip stitch into the following stitch. And we just repeat that right around our piece.
and that's what it will look like. I'll work until I get quite close to the end of the row of camera. Now I've got one more to do. I work three chain double crochet in the same stitch and slip stitch in the bottom of the first one and fasten off. And that's the large leaves done. For the small set of leaves, I've still got the 390, the poppy rose, and we start with four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet into the next chain, and one single crochet into the last chain. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. And for the neatening row, we start with two chain and work one half double crochet in the bottom, the stitch near the chain, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then work two chain, one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain, and then slip stitch into the following stitch. And we repeat that just round to the beginning of row three. So round to there, two chain, a half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and slip stitch into the next stitch. Now I'm at the beginning of row three. We work two chain and slip stitch into the next, next stitch and then one chain slip stitch into the following stitch. I've got the tail caught. And then work two chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and one chain and slip stitch in the base of our first stitch and fasten off. And that's the small leaves done. For these two medium leaves I've got my 115 the hot red and we start with seven chain We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one half double crochet in the next chain, 
one double crochet into each of the following two chain that's a treble using UK terms one half double crochet in the next chain and one single crochet into the last chain For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch For row 3 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches one half double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into each of the following two stitches one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and that's the leaf unneatened now the neatening row is worked the same as the large leaves we start with three chain work one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then miss one stitch and work a slip stitch into the next stitch and repeat that around three chain one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and miss a stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch so I'll finish the rest of this off camera I'll be back when I get at the end of the row back to near the beginning of the row I work three chain one double crochet in the same place as a chain and slip stitch in the bottom of the first stitch and fasten off and that's a medium set of leaves the other one has worked the same I start with seven chain we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook one half double crochet into the next chain one double crochet into each of the following two chain one half double crochet into the next chain and a single crochet into the last chain for row two we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch For row 3 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches one half double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into each of the following two stitches
one half double crochet into the next stitch and a join single crochet over the last two stitches and the neatening row is work the same we start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same stitch as our chain and then miss one stitch and work one slip stitch in the following stitch and repeat that round so I'll finish this off camera I'll weave in all the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together there's the pieces we've got the trunk the large leaves the medium leaves and the small leaves the first thing we do is attach the large leaves to the trunk they go just in there I stitch them up around the branches and there's a bit of the branches shown underneath the flatter piece goes at the bottom so I'll stitch those on the next thing I do is attach the medium leaves the edge goes just after the V there and they go slightly under the top leaves so in about there the last thing I do is attach these small leaves they just go towards the end there and slightly under the medium leaves there so I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished tree there's the finished tree the size is 10 centimeters wide by 11 and a half centimeters or 4 inches wide by 4 and a half inches if you'd like my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns the details of my Facebook group and the details of my patreon thank you for watching see you next time bye